community is really what um is what really opens up doors you know network just knowing people that are already at the level of where you want to be and just kind of getting in contact with them nobody actually knows what the fuck they're doing but the people that succeed are the people that just keep doing it yeah you know, what's up man can you hear me yeah dude how do i sound yes sir all right, let's go, man. How you doing today, bro? I'm good, dude. Can you hear the music in the background? I got well, That's kind of dope, because I can listen to it the whole time and still hard. do this. But yeah, I mean, for now, I just, I had just sat down to get work rolling for the day. So I like, I just got back to the gym, so yeah, cool. Yeah, where did you say you're uh, based uh, at? I'm Republic right now, bro. The yes, server, sweet. Have you been there? And you were telling me, so you haven't spent long term there before? Uh, not really. I just got family out here, bro. But I haven't been out here in a while. It's been like three, four years since I came out here. Um, gotcha. What is it easy to run your business? Uh, from there, like do sales and stuff. Like, is it? Is there? A, do you see a difference yeah, I mean, compared to other places you've been? Pretty, it's pretty easy, bro. As long as you got some good Wi-Fi, man, you should you should have a problem, like taking sales call anywhere from around the world sweet that's awesome and so just to kind of fill everybody in because i'm going to save this and you know maybe if the if i can raise the audio and do some things um but i am we got connected through jacob's group chat so you've been in sales what about two years now since we've done uh, that bro, it's been like uh like a year four months five months like a year and a half basically yeah Oh, nice. Sick. But yeah, we did meet through Jacob. I remember that. That was fire right there, man. Got a few. Dude, that thing, like, opened up so many doors. For... Excuse me, but that thing opened up so many doors. Yeah. Doors in this arena for me. Oh, my God. I know I got, like, the midweek shadow going. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bro. I felt better. Yeah, bro, that, that, that was a huge yeah. battery, bro. I was like, that opened up so... That, that's when I really started realizing, like, yo, like... It, community is really what um is what really opens up doors you know network just knowing people that are already at the level of where you want to be and just kind of getting in contact with them so that was huge man yeah just really making connections with all like even when you hit me up earlier you were like oh you want to join this call man i'll think about it today i don't know bro but this year man like i like, like i told everybody i'm just trying to focus on relationships this year man you know like i'm just trying to say yes to as many things as possible you know, conversations, you know, meetups, whatever it is, just really getting to know more people and build up more connections because that's really what's, what's going to get you further than than most freaking programs, most degrees, whatever it is. It's like, it, it's very hard to find like-minded individuals around you. Um, and I always tell people like, bro, like there's like, you have the biggest tool you use it in your hand every day, 24 seven, like just join all our communities, join groups, you know, join um, nearby events going on. And that's the easiest way to really just meet like minded individuals and from those trips bro you get to meet new people new experiences and just build a, a nice relationship a nice connection with them exactly uh 100 percent, man and like even we joined like we met a kid on a volcano while we were there and we got him to join the group chat just because he wanted to he'd never been to the u.s before that's crazy bro yo oh uh, what when the why trip bro it's March 21st through the 24th. I, I know you low-key have two months too to like grind. Like that's why I kind of like it. Like you kind of like. It's like my birthday is March 30th, bro. So like I'm playing it. Oh, word. I want to uh, go back home for my birthday. Just, just spend it with the family, friends. So it's in Oh, fuck yeah. Where is home? Rhode Island, bro. Smallest state in America. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, that's right. We talked about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what's up. Kind of want to go Fuck yeah. You know, visit the family, just spend some time. That's really what I want for my birthday. But I'm not trying to do like. Yeah, that's, that's good, dude. You should do that, especially while you can. That's sick, dude. Yeah, like you should do that. And then just continue on from there, bro. Exactly. It's just yeah. Sorry, I'm just getting back to this current client. Little update. We got rolling. How are your sales calls been uh, today? It's pretty slow today, bro. Um, just doing some outreach. Got another call later on in like an hour. And yeah, pretty, pretty long calls today, bro. But it's been a 
a fire. Hey, I don't think that people the the, the wind, bro. It's just... Yeah, head been crushing it, dude. Bro. But um, yeah, we're planning a, a Miami trip, bro, for June, bro. It's like for a whole. Oh hell. So, oh, yeah, I'm in. Kyle was asking me like, "Yo, bro, who else can we get on this, bro?" I was like, "Bro, is that?" Let's get it. We got to get a villa, yeah, dude. He wants to go to Brinko, bro. So I don't know, man. We just got to talk about it, bro. Yeah. But it's like one yeah, for sure out there. Yeah. You know, just all grinding and doing our sales calls for our Wi-Fi <laughs> activities and just having fun at the same time, bro. Wait, man. Where you at right now, bro? Where you located again? Yeah. So I'm in North Florida right now. So just south of Jacksonville in oh, yeah. St. Augustine. Yeah. <laughs> I really like it. Yeah, I grew up here. So I did, I never even really left. The whole like move out of your hometown thing was pretty big for me. Yeah. It's pretty small over here. Um, and uh, we basically, I did, yeah, I did high school and then I moved to, I, I moved to Miami because, or moved to Fort Lauderdale like uh, 2019 and then just moved back in like July, August. So I'm, I don't know. It's kind of one of those things where with, with this remote work, bro, like being tied into a lease is just not appetizing to me, you know, especially when like you come from like, I'm sure your family's the same way. Like they like having me around and like, you know, they're not going to be here forever. So it's kind of like, why do people like move out in their twenties and like never go home? Like you want to hang out with your parents when they're stuck, like when they're 80 years old, like I want to like, they're minor, thankfully young ish, you know? Yeah, I don't like, want to go back for my birthday, bro. Just really, you know, I'll just get back with the family and just spend that that time missed. Yeah. So, but yeah, today's really just been about. I do all my, uh, I update all my clients on how their campaigns are running, usually between Monday and Tuesday. Uh, just kind of a week in review. Today was sick, dude. I had one guy, Tyler. He hasn't been. He hasn't closed any deals yet. But he's averaging. Last week, he averaged. He added almost two hundred followers to his, to his LinkedIn, and he didn't do shit. I mean, he didn't even. I got you on my list, bro. I got you on my list. I'm like, yeah, I got, I got to <laughs> You could, you could do it manually, dude. I tell people, fucking do it manually, make some money, and then let me automate it. I've gone so. I'm just being ignorant about it. You know what I'm saying? Because I've gone so much results <laughs> without it. So to me, it's like, ah. But I know how important it is just from everything that you've been posted on it. So like, I definitely got to tap it. No, I, dude, I actually love that you said that because the biggest thing I try to tell people is it's not supposed to take the place of what you're already doing. The point is that you're you're crushing it with the other platforms. It might be worth reinvesting five hundred, a thousand dollars to have everything completely automated because you know if if, it, if you invest a thousand dollars a month and you you close five deals and then you return five k yeah. then it's like it's an easy five x you're not getting that i mean you're only getting that on crypto airdrops right now and trading options because <laughs> i have hopefully yeah. largest still in there but did, did you hear yeah. how people like starting to go on there to use it as a dating app a dating app oh that's i did see an article on that yeah i don't know who wrote it i got open oh, that's crazy bro Peter. But yeah, you know, I'm really just trying to hop on there, bro. Cause I, like you said, bro, like if, if you can invest one k, bro, and just get five clients from it, bro, that's a that's a, in my book, that's a good return. Especially that you're meeting like, like money five, on there. Percent five clients and five hundred new followers. Nah, yeah, I gotta type in, bro. I'll definitely probably tap in next month, bro, because I'm gonna be ready where yeah, then you know, one hundred percent fully committed on it. Yeah. That's not how to say, dude. I, I see that. I joined, like, it's so funny. In December, I joined so many groups, and they were all, like, and then it's the total, like, course fatigue. Like, okay, what do I actually want to focus on? Like, you know, thank God one of them was, like, I just because I did a 30-day posting challenge, it was, like, a thousand, it was a thousand dollar value for, like, uh, the Clip Curators course, and I got it completely free just for doing the 30 days in a row challenge. So, I'm going to go back to that yeah, one so, 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 uh, like, when there's but, dude, when there's too many options bro like even me bro like, I, I, there's so many courses that i haven't, haven't even opened up my email bro like i have like four or five courses that i haven't even opened up bro but like one thing i learned last year bro was really just probably just locking on one bro locking on one if you stick with it long time enough bro you like you're about to have results no excuse why you shouldn't but like you got you got to act that there's too many courses bro like it just it could take a toll on you 
Exactly. I agree. And I think so many guys make that, or so many people in general make that, that mistake. They just like, they join everything and then you got to focus on one piece at a time. Like it's just reality. You got to go through the parts where like everything sucks, like certain parts of it suck. Like when you're getting really good at sales, your content's not going to be there. It's just reality. And I got really attached to like needing everything to be perfect all the time. Yeah. I, and even in the chat, bro, I be telling the guys, man, like, yo, like, there's there's so many sales guys, so many sales coaches out there, bro. Like, you you can learn from all of them at the same time. But, it, like, me personally, I feel like what's worse for me, bro, is just picking one guy, bro, just learn from him 100%. Once you learn, once you feel like you learned everything that he taught you, then you can go on to somebody else and then mix a little bit of everything together. Yeah. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's good, Frank? Yeah. Uh, But yeah, bro. I mean, that, that, that's my that's my strategy for this year, bro. Just I'm just trying to be on the fold as much as possible and just focus on um APQ as much as possible. That's what really got me a little sit today. Like that that's that's what I trying to preach to everybody. It's just a numbers game. Like if don't expect to get an answer if you're only gonna be doing like one to ten conversations a day. But like if you're doing a hundred a day, I mean, you're somebody's about to say yes. Uh, I put out a tweet today. It's just like it's stop going on Zoom, just start going on live. Because then, like, you're gonna get it, the you're gonna get the reach for it, and you can save the you can save the. So what's going on with that? Oh, it's a TikTok live, bro. Like, is that is that is that popping right now? Oh, you gotta get top ten, dude. That's still worth it. Oh my god, it's like I don't know why I TikTok's just pushing the fuck out of lives right now, and you can get so much reach on there. Now I have an account that I bought that's in like the motivation like mindset niche. And then I just kind of flipped it and put my own content on it. And uh, yeah, so when I go live, it tells 18,000 people that like we're on there. So it's just like, yeah, just easy access to attention, right? Like Gary Vee talks about it all the time, right? It's time trading attention. So where can I spend the most time and get the most, or spend the least amount of time and get the most amount of attention, right? I could go on TikTok, like I told you yesterday, I put it at a weird angle and I was just like journaling. You couldn't even see what I was writing. And a thousand people just tuned in and liked the videos. Fucking crazy. They weren't all on there at the same time. They just scroll through and like it. But they still like, it still adds to your, I mean, like if we talk about digital assets, like now it show my TikTok account has like a thousand likes compared to the, what it had yesterday. Uh, that's fine. I think people just want to be a part of something, bro. What COVID really showed us was how important it made people desperate for community yeah man I've, I've been preaching that for years bro like that that's what's that's what's missing back back out there in, in the states bro it's 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 the community bro that's kind of why i like traveling to like my hometown countries bro dr columbia pr bro because like that community aspect still has the left like you'll you'll still see people out spending time together you'll still see neighbors you know talking to each other you know kids playing outside but now yeah that's like, fucking dope dude you know? so it's like everybody's like stuck in a box like in their own world and it's like all right forget about everybody let me just live on my own which is, which is crazy bro because i feel like life is all about people bro it's like all about 100 percent, dude 100 like go cra- i like being low bro i'm not lie. i love solid too bro but like, shit you like damn man go crazy bro if you're alone too long 100 percent, dude you gotta gotta keep your interactions consistent like, like even like now it's just like because people think when they go out like they gotta go out and go crazy and it's just like you can just like go out with like an old friend and it'll still have a huge effect on what you're yeah, doing bro. that's why i'm trying to focus more on this year too bro uh, not really about the uh the amount of, of time i'm spending with people or the amount of uh you know our time i'm investing to people but more of the quality bro and and because you know, we're so busy, like, with all this, um, all these businesses we do and, and work, bro, like, I just want to make sure that whenever I'm investing my time into somebody, bro, it's like, it's, even if it's 10, 15 minutes, bro, it's like the quality was there, bro. 100%, dude. Now, are you doing a lot of the one-on-one stuff, bro? Uh, I do. I'm doing, I'm not doing too much, bro, but right now I'm doing, like, more of this, like, just conver- conversating with people, like, people in the chat, I'll give you a call, I'll give them a call, um, uh, have a couple like dude, that. That's why I told you, like, yo, fuck, let's get out the way today, bro. Because I'm trying to do this more often, bro. Yeah, no, hundred percent, dude. I'm trying to go live like once a week, honestly. So I'll yeah. you can always hop in. Do you want to talk about your 
offer at all? Like, how has it been, like, selling it? Is this, like, a newer offer you've been on, or you've been not on the same offer for a while? For, um, I'm not gonna lie, but it's kind of fine. It's basically just, um, in the clothing brand industry, uh, kind of, it's such a biz offer, you know, helping people start up their own clothing mm-hmm. brand, um, you know, get to five figures a month. So that, 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 that offer is pretty fire, but just cause I've had my own clothing brand. So I kind of understand where they're coming from, you know, like their pain and stuff like that. And I yeah, right that's now, like the, this, I haven't had less than a $300 day right now, bro. So it's, it's going good. I'm not lie. Oh yeah, dude. That's what's up. So it's pretty established. So yeah, no, and, and the community, well, the inner circle, like what they're selling right now, bro, is pretty new, but it's just that they have a community of 600 people, bro. So, so it's like, yeah, seeing results with the free community. So it's like a no brainer to invest into inner circle. Obviously, not everybody's gonna have to invest, but uh, just having that closer access to the owner of the offer that's what people are looking for, right? So, any advice on the conference championship games this weekend? Oh, yeah, for NFL, we can do a little, little sports talk. Let me just pull up with the uh. Let me pull up with the odds, bro. I know. Real quick. Since I just got into this world, bro. I, uh, bro, I just watch sports and so yeah, long, bro. Yeah, I really only been watching them do uh, bet. I, so, and I haven't been winning that much. I think it's uh, like, bro, it's an interesting world, bro. Like, ever since I locked into this, bro, it's been so fucking long since I like. I, I don't even know like who, who's who's still alive. Yeah, so it's Ravens, Chiefs. I like that. That probably. Where's the? Ah, oh, the. Uh... I don't have the. Yeah. Uh... Hey, so you probably should from. Uh... Oh, wait. Ravens both. Yeah, I think the Ravens probably. I think the Ravens will win. Yeah. Come on, Prophet Jack. Don't let them down. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Let's see. They're both, it's crazy. They're like, even, well, the Lions are 13 and six against the spread. I don't really remember what that means, honestly. Like, that means that you really cover. So I'd probably take Lions plus. Oh, but the 49ers are nine and nine against the spread. So they are, they're 50 50 better. Oh, uh, 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 but the 49ers don't have, they may not have Debo. And Lions don't might not have their line by here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, dude. This one's a 50 50. Plus 253 is pretty fucking good, though. I mean, you can make some cash on that if they pull it out. Let's see. Nah, actually, I saw the script. It's, it's going to be Ravens 49ers, so don't bet on that. But on the other game, I'll bet on. Uh, bet on right? uh, if you want to make some money. Put on, put some money on the Chiefs to beat Lamar. Even though I don't really think that'll happen. It, the only reason I think that might happen is because it's at three o'clock. It's not at eight p.m. Lamar only shows up at showtime. So, yes, yeah, uh, yeah. But on the other game, so yeah, that's our sports segment for the day. You said you watch NBA though. You root for the Celtics, I, 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 I guess. I keep up with it, but I, I haven't watched ever since I left, bro. I haven't watched any type of sport, but I've been keeping up with it. Yeah, gotcha. Because I've been so locked into this world, but it's like, I already got time right now. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 100%. I'm like, dude. interested that that was the fault, bro. I used to waste a lot of time on that. Now it happens. Dude, I didn't watch any sports. Uh, me, I didn't watch any sports. Watch Ron is the joke. Throughout. Sit it. Oh, Hold on. Yeah. Got to love it. I feel like he's the best all-around player. I think it's more easy to say yeah. go because we're we're living through, like we're living through him right now. So yeah, yeah, I was a big LeBron guy. What about you, Jack? I'm a big LeBron he guy too. But you're. Right. What you what what you say about not watching Jordan? I just think that I just think the talent gets better every year. So I'm more on that end. Where he's going against better competition. Combo that will never end, bro. Because like we're like we're going we're we're on through. Yeah. We grew up with LeBron. All guys that grew up with Jordan. They're gonna say Jordan. We're gonna say LeBron. So it's like we're all biased at the end of the day. Because like they had less talent. 
talent, but they had more like stricter. Like they, the rules were way. It was way harder, like rules wise, because like you could just do whatever the fuck you wanted. And like now they're protect. They protect what? the players, so LeBron's quite protected. It's like just I just, I don't know. Consistency has been crazy, bro. Like he's been killing it since he got to the league, bro. Yeah, like his longevity is insane. I'm on the breeder right now, bro. Was... Yeah, and then I saw something where KD's like, "Why am I not in the conversation?" I'm like, "Cause you yeah. fucking ring chase." Yeah, I'm probably gonna ask you what are your what are your thoughts on like the whole imposter syndrome? You know, like getting over that fear of like you know just I uh, wanted to post or do content, but like scared that people like may not. Um, I guess. You know, yeah. I know. No, I know what you're saying. I struggled with it for so long, dude. You know how many people were telling me I should have been making content since the time I was like yeah. 19? It's just like, and it was because of that same thing. I just don't feel like I've done anything. And I think there's something to that. I think it's like, I think it comes from self-confidence. So if you're doing things that like, you like I just really hadn't thought I achieved much. And like, so I wasn't comfortable talking about it. And I think that's like, not to negotiate with myself, but I feel like that was fair. I think some people can like document the process and like all parts of that, whatever. But like, I just didn't need people throwing a pity party. And like, it was just like, I wasn't going to get on there and say like, things weren't going the way they were. What value do I really have to provide? So I was still learning. Um, so either talk about what you're learning and that'll just kind of get you the reps. And I think that's kind of where I'm at now where it's like, okay, I've done enough to where or and I'm doing enough to where I feel like I should talk about this and this can help people. But that's like you said earlier, like it's because my network's way better now. I know the advice I'm getting is it from like just fucking TikTok scrolling. It's from like guys like you that have skin in the game that are learning from guys like Jeremy Miner. It's yeah. from guys like, you know, Arlen and those guys, you know, Iman, like I have closer relationships with those guys at a higher level. So it makes me like repeating a lot of like our conversations a little more valuable, or at least when I'm pulling from them um but yeah i mean the advice over that is really just to go whenever you have the confidence like you just set up the camera and start start talk don't talk about anything you don't know and you won't fear the yeah. public speaking I mean, if you don't know it yeah. say that you'll hear me say a thousand times like i know nothing about this but here's what i think about it and that saves me just so much like you know imposter syndrome i guess That's you know you can alleviate people realize bro like that not every like the majority of the world knows nothing about this space but sometimes when we come into the inside the space bro we look at all these other people you know killing and getting results because we're in the space but in the real world bro not too many people are actually aware of what's going on so in fact you're a little bit ahead you have some info that they don't have you you may not have that info that exactly. but your industry you already have but you still have info that people back home maybe people in the real world don't have bro because you know they don't know anything about this industry yeah no 100 percent. i mean and that's what i like about it too right like i think we're in a space that not a lot of the world knows about yet i think a very niche niche area of people know about it but it's also what you can wake up the younger generation too because they're just they're oh my lost his connection uh gus if you're still here what's up dude he's back i fucking swiped right by accident bro it took me out <laughs> tender fingers got yeah we should the best of you um but yeah no we were talking imposter syndrome but then we were going into something where i was like i don't remember what it was so uh, but I don't have that, like too much knowledge on. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Sweet. Oh the the space, yeah. Like I think we can wake up a lot of people to it because like just sales in general. Why was I never told that sales were the was the fastest way to 10k a month? Like why? Why do I have to go on Discord to figure that out? <laughs> you know, like so that's where the opportunity. Like you go into things that not a lot of people have discovered yet. This space is that. Like, yeah, people have been doing it since 2017. They're the OGs. But what's the next wave, right? Think about like the that's like the first that's like saying the first season of the NBA is a saturated market. And nobody should join the NBA anymore. Because the guys in 1950 did it so well. Like, no, dude, that's how it fucking works. Like you just gotta take what these guys are doing and do it better. Like we have more tools to do it better than anybody else, and we observe the problems that are happening because of it. So it's like 
you can really like take advantage of that but people think it's a dead end because they're just told that this is the way things are and that's that's what they're gonna do and blah 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 like uh, somebody on a podcast today i was listening to modern wisdom and he had rory sutherland on and he was talking about how like we're convinced that we need to suffer like we need to force ourselves into buying a house because it's this big tax-free asset. He's like, you know how many other things are tax-free and cost you like ten thousand dollars and return like twenty thousand dollars? He's like, he's like, you ever heard of the stock market? <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, it's it's so trippy. you're right. right. Like, there's so much shit you can invest. In. It's not just real. I mean, real estate is a big part of it, but like you said, like, there's so many things that it's like people oh, no. people try to save their their down payment and then they calculate what they can afford on a line of credit and then they go do that but when they go buy a car they look at how much money they have in the bank account and then they decide if they're gonna buy the car he's like why do we not do that with houses he's like it's five hundred thousand fucking dollars yeah a lot i'm really big on like getting myself in debt right now especially like in the house and market Look yeah. at my lifestyle, bro. Like, this just doesn't match, bro. I, I I really want to be adaptable as possible, you know, flexible. Um, and I've always yeah, like buying things outright, like hundred percent. So it'll be years before I buy a house right now. Hundred percent, dude. That's the way to do it, honestly. I think so. What are your thoughts, are your thoughts like on a brand right now, bro? Like that being like possibly the number one, I guess, new way that people. I mean, really, we just focus on themselves as being the brand. Being the brand. Yeah, I mean, I think the reality is, like, you have a real opportunity. When we talk about, like, 1% things, 99% of people use Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, you name it, to scroll and consume information and not act on it. And the other 1% create content and take in other people's content and kind of learn from it. So it's like, this is your opportunity to like, you don't have to just go meet someone on a bar anymore for them to figure out who you are. Like you can, if your personal brand's dialed in, exactly who you are should be on there and nothing to hide. It's just reality. Like, what are you hiding? That's what I had to keep asking myself. Like, what are you hiding? Are you hiding that you're not at 30K a month yet? Are you hiding that, you know, like, what are you, are you hiding that the system works or doesn't work? Like, you got to kind of ask yourself, like, are you hiding that you don't, meditate and you don't pray and you don't yeah. do these things that help you like it's crazy but once you ask yourself that you're like okay now it makes sense so let's have a personal brand but you don't have to do it on instagram either i think the kids our age think yeah. it's got to be on ig it's like like we've been talking about like do it on a fucking linkedin only have professional people pay attention you want people to have money to pay attention or you want people that are broke and pay pay that you're doing you know, things that's crazy but like there's this there's, you got x yeah twitter you got fucking facebook um, you know, Facebook is paying well as well too, bro. Like with the reels and and and, and the and the videos on there, uh, and all you really got one platform to like really blow up, and then all your other platforms want to get ambushed. I feel like the best one right now is TikTok, bro. I agree. I think in terms of reach, like your best bets are are TikTok and YouTube. That's all I feel. I'm just like yo, sometimes yeah. You're like, you don't have to pick a niche. Like, just post your everyday, regular day. I don't know I don't know why I tell people this advice, and I don't even take it myself, bro. But I just be like, yo, just post your everyday, regular day, and you will become the niche. Like, you are the niche. Yeah. And, and, dude, that dude, Gary V wrote about that in his, literally his first book, Crushing It, or, like, one of his first main books. And, like, I just read I just reread it. So, like, and he just kept hitting on that. And I was like, that's what it's all, that's literally what it's all about. A thousand people um, you. Yeah, journal, bro. Like that. That's a niche within itself. Like people want to get a routine of how to journal correctly, or or to have time to journal. We're not the same. God made us all different in our own unique way, bro. What I have, maybe you possibly don't have much experience. What you have, maybe I possibly don't have much experience. Like there's always people one, two, yep. three years ahead, or one, two, three years behind you, and there's always gonna be people looking for something that you possibly may think that it's not valuable but in reality like like i said bro like even reading a book at night people are gonna be like yo like how do you find time to read books now all of a sudden you just gotta climb because you're teaching them how to find time to read books so it's like bro we all have something special bro that we can offer to the world it's just about all what it is and kind of experience it, uh experimenting with it bro just kind of posting daily you know and seeing what the people engage what they comment on and kind of give you feedback on bro
Cause like, bro, so like you told me a thousand people watch you journal, bro. Like that just made me realize, like, yo, like we really are the niche. We the person. Yeah, they, you're the most unique niche is you. So it's like, and they talk about like the whole niche thing's got to be viral, and all these people try to copy people, and it it fucking amazes me. But again, like, it's what it is, right? It lessens the competition. I think that's the other thing. People think there's a lot of competition. There's just like. There's just not. You can you can skip. you don't need ten thousand followers to make yeah, money like, online. Guys, like yo, I, I've seen guys who have like two hundred k followers. They're they're making like fifty k a month, brother. There's a guy with like two thousand followers making the same fifty k a month, bro. Exactly. Yeah. People just bro, like I said, bro. People we just can. want to find something they can relate to, man. And I, I think that's the more. That's really what I want to get into, bro. That's why I accepted this call. I was like, bro, let me just get it out the way, man. And Really, you know, so I get a better at because, like, sooner or later, people are gonna like they're, they're gonna resonate with what I got going on. You know, possibly they want to, like, you know, I travel around the world, they want to travel around these Latin American countries. You know, they want to get better at like uh sales, they want to make some type of money online. And everybody has a different brand, yeah. 100%, dude, I appreciate you taking the time, man. I mean, we've been on like an hour, so we can. We can, uh, we can, we can cut it, but yeah, perfect. this was definitely 100%, dude. But we'll definitely do it again, yeah, bro. Just trying to get into the, like this whole dual lives and just doing more content online. Yeah, bro. Yeah, sweet, bro. I love to hear it. All right, man. Have a good rest of your day. Appreciate it.